baik Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh <coughs> Okay So um, Welcome back for the next session Okay it's been a while I know But um, I'm still waiting for your Some of you to hand in your Work on the Kelantan paper eh? Masih dah jadi yang belum hantar lagi Alright Please do send Dah lama dah eh Alright, for the uh, for the next work, it's gonna we're going to continue on the homework that I give you the other day. Kita sambung kerja rumah hari tu. Last kita stop dekat muka surat 106. Video semua dah ada share kat WhatsApp group. Please tolong, <coughs> tolong tonton video tersebut eh. Okay, uh, sebab dia ada penjelasan kat situ and I explain a few things for you that It's very important for you to actually... Uh, Listen Alright uh, Watch Sorry Go listen <laughs> Okay Alright So uh, let's continue So today we're going to look at page um, 107 Okay So uh, 107 actually is a, is a short text Story actually About About uh, The tailor this particular tailor yeah there we go okay all right <coughs> so let's begin shall we all right okay so uh, once upon a time in a small kingdom there lived a tailor one day as he was sewing a rope some flies started troubling him sewing okay so sewing is menjahit eh? okay a rope tau kan rope jubah lah Bukan jubah macam yang kita pakai tu Ataupun mak kamu pakai tu Bukan jubah yang cawan putih pakai Okay, zaman dulu punya jubah-jubah yang Dia tak ada button kat tengah tu lah Okay Alright So, we're swing a rope Some flies started troubling him Flies tu apa? La, 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 la So, you can see the picture see See the picture here uh, All these flies Okay He shook them away But they continued to bother him The tailor then took a fly sweater This thing Okay, yang memukul lalat ni uh, fly sweater and sweater is actually not I'm not so sure it's sweater or sweater is it yeah whatever doesn't matter okay and killed seven flies with one sweat alright so sekali hayun bunuh tujuh seven flies eh? okay tujuh lalat I've killed seven in a single blow maksudnya disebut lah dia kata I've killed seven in a single blow sekali pukul, uh, sekali hentam bunuh tujuh lah itu so, shouted the tailor with great pride. Okay, pride, kebanggaan. Eh? With great pride. At the very moment, two ladies were standing outside his shop. Okay, dua perempuan standing outside his shop. Talking about a fearsome giant. Okay, diorang bercakap tentang apa? Luar kedai ni. Diorang bercakap tentang a fearsome giant. Yang sangat menakutkan eh. Giant. Seorang so, gegasi yang sangat menakutkan. Okay, this giant was killing many people in the kingdom and eating them whole. Okay, makan keseluruhan Whole ni Maksudnya makan orang keseluruhan lah Tak ada baki tinggal When they overheard the tailor The lady thought What a brave man Ha ni overheard Overheard Terdengar Terdengar tailor Apa yang tailor tu cakap ni tadi ni I have killed the seven in a single blow So the lady thought What a brave man he is He had He has killed sev- uh, Seven giants in one blow Diorang salah faham kan ni Mereka ingat dia bunuh Tujuh uh, Gegasi Dengan sekali hentam Okay Makhluk, makhluk kecil kerdil ni bunuh tujuh gegasi sekali hen dan so they ran to the king and told him about the brave tailor bring him to me ordered the king the tailor tried to explain that he had only killed seven flies ha, bagus ada jujur ok king all the ladies told the king and the killing and the king <coughs> mm. Uh, the king said bring him to me bawa orang tu ke saya lah kena jumpa dia and the tailor tried to explain they only killed seven flies they cakap jujur lah kan they killed only seven flies but his cries were in vain okay what is the meaning of vain let's check it out alright Allah salah tayy vain what is that do you understand that Okay, not this one lah, this one. Okay, producing no result. Ataupun useless. 
tidak membawa sebarang uh, tadi effect ah tadi effect okey so in vain go kill the giant the king ordered the tailor the poor man had no choice but to obey okey king tu berkeras juga suruh dia pergi and dia terpaksa pergilah okey he had to o Taylor reached the giant's cave Sampai ke gua ke kasi tu Oh What a mighty giant he is I can't kill him He thought Okay Dia berfikir Buat yang besar je makhluk ni Macam nak bunuh dia Tak boleh bunuh dia ni Then Taylor had a brilliant idea Okay the That night Okay While the giant was sleeping He sealed the giant's lips Together Pandai Okay That night The giant was sleeping kan So he sealed the giant eh? The giant's lips together okay now the giant could not eat anything when he woke up he begged the tailor to undo the stitches on his mouth so the giant cannot do anything cannot eat anything so when he woke up he begged dia merayu lah dia merayu begged the tailor to undo untuk buka balik undo the stitches on his mouth undo ni maksudnya kembali lah tapi kat sini dia kata undo maksudnya buka lah balik yang tadi jahit So undo is buka lah The stitches on his mouth The tailor, the tailor agreed to do so kill, uh, On one condition Dia bagi satu syarat I will undo the stitches only if you promise To stop killing anyone, any more people And leave our kingdom immediately Okay What does it mean? It means that He will open the stitches If the giant Berjanji Stop killing Any more People And leave the kingdom And tinggalkan kingdom Stop membunuh Dan tinggalkan kingdom tersebut The giant agreed And the tailor Unpicked the stitches The giant immediately Left the kingdom And the tailor Received a handsome reward From the king Everyone live happily ever after There's a story about How the um, How the tailor Managed to Defeat The giant Okay Alright Alright Okay, let's look at the question. Question number one: What was bothering the tailor? Bothering up here. So what was bothering the tailor? Pretty simple, right? The flies. Okay, how many flies did the tailor kill? How many? Seven. All right. What did the ladies hear? <laughs> what did the ladies hear? Okay, so mana tadi the ladies? Two ladies were sitting outside the show talking about if you think the giant was killing many women and then when they overheard the tailor, what did they hear? They hear this. Yes, that's the what that's what they heard. So we're going to write that down. Okay. Remember, very important, focus on this. This is past tense, so your answer must also be in the past tense. So the ladies. Ladies Here Here is not past tense But kita nak kena ubah here ni jadi past tense So we're going to write it Heard Alright Why kita guna past tense Because ini ada Did eh? Very important you know It looks very simple But some some of you will make this mistake So please do not make this mistake The ladies heard The tailor Said He had killed seven in a single blow. Okay? You can write like this. Ataupun kamu nak buat dalam bentuk uh, dialog boleh juga. Taylor said, buka, tutup. Apa, dialog punya ni, comma tu. And then you write, I have killed seven in a single blow pun boleh juga. Ataupun kamu tulis macam ni. Okay? It's correct. And both ways are correct. Okay, number four. Why did the king call for the tailor? Kenapa king to panggil tailor for what? Okay. For this, like, again, go kill the giant. The king ordered the tailor. Okay. So, the king called the tailor to ask him to to order him, kan? To order. Bukan to ask, to order him. To order him to kill the giant. Yeah. Okay. Simple, very simple answer. So... So the king Sorry about that The king call Remember did So call ni mesti jadi pass That's The king called the tailor 
to order him to go kill the giant. Simple. Let's move on. Where did the giant live? Where did the giant live? The giant tinggal kat mana? Okay. Tak tulis pun tinggal kat mana? Ada dituliskan. Dia tak cakap tu tinggal kat mana. Tapi kita tahu kat sini. The tailor reached the giant's cave. So the giant lived in a cave. Remember? Did. Okay. These are all very simple questions. So you can answer simple questions with simple answers. But make sure you get it correct. Because dalam exam, kalau keluar soalan macam ni, sepatutnya kamu boleh score lah. Because you don't need to think a lot. Alright? It's, it's very easy. Yeah? Okay. So where did the giant live? The giant lived past tense eh? because he did again giant lived in a cave all right let's look at this one did the tailor obey the king's command yes the tailor obeyed the king's happened to the giant what happened to the giant so apa yang terjadi kepada giant tu pada akhirnya the giant immediately left the kingdom and tailor ok apa, ok kita ada, ada banyak benda kat sini kita nak macam kita nak kena buat satu kesimpulan kat sini kan alright the giant ah ni the giant agreed uh, dia bersetuju dengan apa dia bersetuju dengan tailor tu punya uh, condition kan ok so kita kena ya, kita kena tulis semua tu So the giant Oh sorry The giant Agreed with the tailor's Condition And Immediately left the kingdom Immediately left the king Okay Alright So it's pretty simple. Okay, if you find these kind of questions in the exam, please make sure that you know you don't make mistakes. Eh? Okay, nampak ni salah. Okay, the giant agreed. Sebab ni this is past tense. So sini pun mesti jadi past. Eh, betul tak? It's in past tense. I'm sorry, I did not realize what was going on. Okay, so what happened? is in past tense so your answer is in past tense okay did is in past tense so your answer in past tense did in past tense so your answer is in past tense okay everything is in past tense when the question is in past tense so your answer must also be in past tense okay that is very important to take care of make sure you do not make any mistakes on that all right there is the answer okay Hope you got it all correct. If you have uh, any problem, WhatsApp me personally and I will check out your answer if you have any issues on that. Okay, now let's move on to this part. Okay, 109. Okay, so this, all right, this is actually about. Mm, Um, how you add why uh, how you make nouns and verbs yang berakhir dengan huruf y okay, bila dia berakhir dengan huruf y and kamu perlu tambah s kalau dia noun noun ni maksudnya apa dia nak kata nama lah bahasa Melayu kata nama noun ni is people things animals and places kalau dia tambah s maksudnya dia ba banyak kalau verb verb ni ialah kata kerja action kalau dia tambah S Maksudnya dia present tense Yang orang membuatnya seorang Present tense untuk singular lah Okay You dah tahu ni dua-dua ni So it shouldn't be a problem Okay it should be very easy for you If you don't understand So please read this page 109 Bukan you don't understand I think kalau you Kalau you confused mungkin sebab you lupa je sebenarnya Okay Dia dah bagi contoh kat sini Okay so noun If a singular noun ends with the vowel before Y Then we just add S for the blue Untuk noun kita tambah S untuk plu, plural Untuk verb okay, Kita tambah S okay, 
bila dia third person singular okey maksudnya orang yang membuat tu ialah singular dia seorang okey and dia bukan i dia bukan you dia he she it makna nama orang nama binatang nama tempat nama benda ataupun ah ialah nama benda so kita pakai kalau dia satu then kerja kata kerja tu the verb tu if it's in present tense we have to put s Okay, alright. Kalau kamu rasa lupa, then please check back on the notes that I give you on verbs, eh? present tense, past tense. Yang kita bagi dari itu dalam buku grammar kamu kau tak silap kamu salin hari itu. Please check it back, alright. Okay, so how do you act um, as untuk perkataan yang berakhir dengan y? It's pretty simple actually. Kalau dia berakhir dengan y, okay, ada setengah Uh, perkataan yang berakhir dengan Y And um, Sebelum Y tu okay, Sebelum Y tu Kalau dia ada consonant okay, Kamu kamu tengok ni Tengok yang atas ni Nampak boy ni kan okay, Tengok perkataan boy ni Perkataan boy Sebelum Y tu ada O O is not a consonant O is a vowel. So kalau dia ada vowel sebelum y, so kamu tambah s sahaja seperti ini. Okay, so you just add s like that. Alright? But then, okay, we'll write it down here. Okay? But then if it ends with uh, cons uh, if it ends with uh, with the consonant, okay, before the y, sebelum y ni ada consonant, so you We'll have to change the Y into I E S. Okay, let's give it a go. Let's let's try to write down in here in the table form so it's a bit easier for you. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna write. Oh no 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 wait wait wait. I'm gonna merge this. So I'm put noun. Okay. Add S. For plural Plural tu You know plural right Plural banyak eh Jangan tak tahu plural pula Okay 6 tahun belajar English Shit no Verb So untuk verb Add S For present tense For present tense with singular, uh, what is it? Singular third person singular. Sorry, third person singular. Okay. I'll write the example down there. Okay, faham. Okay, remember who? Who? Sorry. Who do? Okay, remember, remember that? And you get what and some uh, some again. Okay, so we do this. I'm just gonna write. I'm just gonna make this red. Okay, so let's say we have he, she. Okay, he. Oh, yeah. Singular. I'm gonna write this singular. Okay, he ataupun she. Ataupun it Ataupun nama Nama orang Okay Ataupun nama binatang Ataupun nama tempat Ataupun nama Benda Okay. So semua ni Is singular Satu kan I dengan you jangan lah I dah ajar dulu I dengan you is special Dia tak dikira sebagai singular Dia totally different thing Okay Dia, dia sing, Just don't accept, Don't don't think of I dengan you as singular Okay So sini semua ni Ialah orang yang duduk kat depan ni Depan ayat ni Semuanya singular So bila kamu buat ayat Kamu akan tulis macam tu And then kamu akan tulis dia punya verb Dia betul Kamu nak buat present tense Present tense ni Apa tadi 
benda perkara yang berlaku selalu okey think it, think of it like that something that happens always ataupun dia arahan okey so bila dia jadi play kat sini okey the verb is play do ni kan play kan okey kamu kena tambah s sebab dia singgu le kalau dia ramai de kamu tak payah tambah s okey untuk present tense okey untuk present Understand? Okay. See, lah. I'm gonna do, make this into black. This one, I'm gonna make it into red. Okay. So I'm gonna make it into make it blue. Blue is better. Yeah, blue. Okay. And then here you can tambah lah. Depending on what they play, football, whatever. Okay. So when the person here, all right, okay, ini semua contoh-contoh yang sah, tu contoh lain yang sama waktu dengannya boleh lah bagai, lah lah boleh aku cakap kalau nak tukar pen jadi pensel, okay, don't be that. No, don't be too confused until like that. Okay, so it's like that. Okay, so when you have this, okay, so you uh, this person, okay, this the people, the we call it subject actually. The subject in front of the sentence, orang yang orang binatang ataupun benda ber tempat yang duduk di hadapan ayat sebelum kata kerja tersebut before the verb. Kalau dia seorang dan verb ni dalam bentuk present tense, kamu kena tambah sa s di belakang. Okay, you know this. Kamu belajar ni masa kamu tahun 1, 2, 3 tu So you should have problem lah Okay So let's move to this part first Okay Now Kita ada uh, dua jenis Satu tu ialah perkataan yang berakhir dengan Yang yang sebelum Y tu Dia ada Vowel Okay I'm going to use a different color lah Let's use green Okay, kalau mak tak nampak pula green ni. Eh. Let's use um, let's use yellow tak nampak juga. Ya, yeah, kita pakai yellow merah. Okay, so we have here boy. Okay, now what you see is that behind the Y, okay, behind the Y, you see it's actually, okay, behind the Y is actually a vowel. Okay, E I O U vowel lah. Eh. So kalau dia macam tu So bila kamu tambah S belakang dia Dia jadi boys Saha so, Just tambah S macam tu Saja tak payah nak Menyusahkan diri kamu Okay You don't have to like um, Change anything or whatsoever Okay so just add S Okay Now untuk um, Kalau lah let's say the word is like this Candy Okay Alright the word is candy So here the word candy ni behind the y okay d ni is not a is not a vowel is a consonant third so when it is a consonant at the back here so kamu tak boleh tambah s sahaja kamu kena tambah kamu kena ubah kamu kena ubah y tu menjadi i e s okay kamu kena ubah y tu menjadi i e s like that so this is actually now nah now the same rule goes for um, verb juga okay so let's say we have play kat sini we have play ada play kat situ kan okay so let's use play alright so here oh no no I'm gonna put this um, sorry yeah yeah this drama is correct okay so I'm going to do it like this I like this part Okay So here we have Y And behind Y itu ada va, va, Vowel So bila kamu nak tambah S at the back You just tambah S sahaja Sebab belakang Y itu ada va, Vowel But right here Let's say um, What do we have? Cry Okay, they're going to give you a contoh cry So we're going to use the same example I can 
think of any other words actually okay so cry so r behind the y we have r and r is not a vowel okay r is actually a consonant consonant so we have to change the y into i e s so how you do it okay all right simple it's pretty straightforward if you ask me okay now let's look at it so i did never bully her friend so the answer is b u l l i e s bullies because this is verb a present tense verb okay bullies all right this house has four chimneys so c h i n e y so it's in e behind the y is a vowel so you just add s chimneys plural eh? four chimneys you know chimneys right apa nama chimney tu um, tempat uh, dong bakar api dong putih bakar kayu and asap di keluar ke atas kan we call it chimney okay the tree family okay and because behind the y is a consonant so we have to change the y into i e as asin carry so r behind the y is a consonant so we have to change it into r i e s okay all right this one is a uh, error Sorry about that. Can. Okay. Oh no. There's something else there. Why are this? Why, why is there? Um, mm, book. It's um okay. So book need gonna get plural. Oh no. Yeah. So it's just books, I guess. Yeah. Books. I don't know why they put book there. That why belakang tu. Never mind. There are thirty dictionaries. So dictionary R Y. So behind the Y is a consonant. So R I E as dictionaries in the school library. Have you visited any of the countries? So same thing. Can't trace. Okay. In Europe, the baby, ah, uh, baby, consonant, eh? so I E, uh, played with the toy. It's a vowel, so you don't need to add any I E. Uh, it's just a ta S H. Lady, D is a consonant, so L A D I E S, because D is a consonant. We're afraid of the monkey. So blum Y to is a va vowel, so you just add S. There you go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right. Okay, this is actually just to make sure you don't make any spelling mistakes, right? Because kalau lah, let's say you you spelling kata macam ni masa kamu menjawab dalam uh, exam. So if you made a mistake, then it's sayang lah. Okay, it's a huge, it's a huge loss. Because you will lose mark, like you will lose like one mark like that. So so rugi lah. Okay. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so this is uh, this is a very interesting part. Okay, this is what we call the rules and the order of adjectives what is an adjective okay if you um if you google up adjective okay dalam dalam bahasa melayu the word is adjective juga sebenarnya okay kalau tak silap ah if i'm not mistaken this is the same word okay adjective is um dia perkataan yang, yang kita kita boleh panggil kata sifat okay dia memberi sifat kepada sesuatu kata na Maksudnya in English Adjective Memberi sifat To People Animal Things And places Nah Bila kita nak bagi sifat Okay Sifat ataupun maklumat tambahan lah Okay Jangan ingat sifat saja Sifat Maklumat tambahan tu Boleh jadi sifat juga Okay So there's like A lot of things You can write about Betul If you want to talk about a boy uh, Kata sifat yang you boleh tambah First kamu punya pendapat tentang dia Okay, boleh jadi Alright, you can say like a nice boy Alright, and then you boleh cakap pasal dia punya Rupa fizikal, a fat boy Kamu boleh cakap pasal Quality dia, a handsome boy Kamu boleh cakap pasal Dia punya umur uh, An old boy uh, A young boy, ha, boleh Old boy tak ada, tak wujud, a young boy Kamu boleh cakap pasal dia punya Bentuk badan Okay, a uh, Baik-baik 
a huge boy, a slim boy, a big boy, a small boy. Boleh? Kau boleh cakap pasal color, a dark boy. Okay? Color, janganlah kau ingat racist pula. Color sahaja. Okay? We don't do any judgment. Lah. Kamu boleh cakap pasal origin. Okay? A Malaysian boy, a American boy, a British boy, an Australian boy. Mana-mana lah. And then you can talk about the material. Okay, untuk orang material, I don't think so you can do that. Because we don't, we don't talk about the material of orang. Tapi kalau benda lain, contohnya macam kereta, kereta pun tak juga. Um, let's say, um, kasut, shoe. So, material dia, ada kasut yang diperbuat daripada leather, ada kasut yang diperbuat daripada getah, ada yang kasut diperbuat daripada kain kan. So, maybe you can say leather shoes. Uh, so, itu material. And then, that's the last one lah. Okay. So, kat sini ni, dia bagi kamu lapan tau. Lapan jenis adjectives that you can write and kita tak boleh tulis sesuka hati dia ada dia punya susun atur dia sebenarnya ok dia ada susun atur so when you follow dia punya susun atur tu baru betul tapi usually people don't use lah sampai 8 orang takkan guna sampai 8 biasa orang akan pakai 2 ataupun 3 tau Okay, contohnya people will say a lovely, beautiful, antique doll. I mean, people will say like that. Okay, maybe people will say an old, an old black leather shoe. Uh, people will say like that. Okay, banyak-banyak tiga lah. People don't say sampai empat, lima, enam. Bukannya tak boleh, boleh. Tapi bila kau tulis banyak sangat, dah macam mengarut pun ada juga. Kan? <laughs> and, and. Boleh nak tulis banyak Tapi dia ada cara nak tulis banyak tu Sebab Kamu kena gunakan perkataan yang sesuai Untuk Tulis dengan banyak Baru orang takkan rasa bosan Baca adjetif Macam lah So Untuk mengelakkan masalah Janganlah kau pergi buat macam tu Dalam karangan kau Okay Because if you do like that In your essay Then it will be like You will waste a lot of words Because sometimes the word You don't need to write But in your essay, please write adjectives Because when you write adjective dalam essay kamu Kamu kena tulis eh Bila kamu tulis dalam essay kamu Essay kamu akan dapat Kamu dapat memberi gambaran dalam essay kamu Kalau kamu tak gunakan adjective Orang yang membaca essay itu Dia takkan dapat gambaran daripada cerita kamu Gunakan adjective okay? Tapi tolong gunakan dua ataupun tiga Untuk satu perkataan cukup Okay And berbanding dengan bahasa Melayu Adjective untuk bahasa Inggeris Dia duduk di hadapan Maksudnya Remember this, a fat boy. Budak gemuk, okay, dalam bahasa Melayu, budak tu datang dulu, barulah sifat gemuk tu datang kan. But in English tak. In English, fat datang dulu, barulah budak tu datang ke belakang. Right? Okay. So, let's look at this one first. Okay. Alright. So, here we have the first one. Kalau kamu nak bagi lapan banyak macam ni, which I suggest don't. The first one will be opinion. Opinion ni pendah, but... Kalau nak tulis, tulis somewhere eh. Tulis di Next, we have size 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 lah Okay Size boleh jadi tinggi, rendah, besar, kecil Okay, that is all size And then next, we have quality Quality ni ialah sifat Sifat quality Maksudnya macam Kalau uh, Dia boleh jadi cantik Dia boleh jadi hodoh Dia boleh jadi kuat Dia boleh jadi pelak, uh, uh, Lemah Dia boleh jadi rapuh uh, So, all of that is Quality Alright And then we have age Age ni umur lah Tapi jangan kau ingat umur tu 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 kau je Umur boleh jadi old Boleh jadi young Boleh jadi antique Boleh jadi ancient Boleh jadi new Boleh jadi brand new ha, Boleh tu kan nampak So there's a lot of words for age Bukan nombor sahaja Next we have shape Okay jangan confuse shape Dengan size Okay Size is just size Alright But shape ni ialah burn dia boleh jadi square Boleh jadi round Boleh jadi circular Jangan ingat bentuk yang kau belajar Polygon tu je Tak semestinya Okay Slim ni Slim ni ada yang cakap Tapi slim ni kan size Captain Bukan Slim ni ialah Dia bukan merujuk kepada kurus Bentuk uh, Bentuk kecil tak Slim ni sebenarnya Dia bentuk memanjang Faham Bentuk yang lurus Yang tu we call it slim A slim, a slim shape We don't say slim As a size Okay, the size is thin or fat. But the shape is slim. Okay. Next, we have color. And then we have origin. Apa origin? Asal u 
So, some other Malaysian. So, maybe it's a handbag. You can have Malaysian handbag, Malaysian shoes. And then, finally, we have the material. Bahan diperbuat daripada A. Okay? Alright. This one, I tak bagi kerja ni dengan kamu. Because you have to, like, identify the adjective in the sentence. But I want to do it right now with you, actually. Okay? Let's see if you can get it right. Uh, let's look at number one. Cuba teka sambil kita buat sama-sama, eh? Sebelum kita sebut jawapan. Okay, number one. I like spicy food. So, which one is the adjective? I give you five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. All right. The answer is spicy. Hope you got it correct. Let's look at number two. It is a small area. Five seconds. Adjective, which one? One, two, three, four, five. And the answer is small. Okay. Small is the adjective. And small is what? Small is the size ke shape. Small is the size. Okay. Number three. I have a great idea. Five seconds. Adjective. One, two, three, four, five. Which one is it? It's great. And great ni yang mana satu? Quality. Oh, no, 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 no. Bukan quality. Sorry. Great is actually opinion. Okay. It's an opinion. Okay. Number four. The price is affordable. Which one is the adjective? Five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Got it? Should be very simple. Affordable. Apa maksud affordable? Mampu mi le. And this one is a quality. Faham? All right. He's my new classmate. Okay? Five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. New. Alright? New is the age. Alright? The adjective. Number six. I want a different haircut. Five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. The answer is different. Okay? This is opinion. Okay? Alright. Next. The dresses are colorful. Which one is it? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Which one is it? The answer is colorful. Okay, and colorful ni ada kadir quality, ada kadir color. <laughs> this sebenarnya, if you ask me, colorful is quality. Dia bukan warna. Dia quality yang bermaksud berwarna-warni. Dia penuh dengan warna. It's quality eh? It's not color Kalau color It should be a color lah Okay Cyan ke violet ke uh, Perusian Blue ke whatsoever It must be a color lah Okay Alright number 8 The thick old book Is on the dusty shelf Okay 5 seconds 5 4 3 2 1 Okay Which one is it? Okay Ada, ada beberapa di sini eh First is dusty Okay Dusty is actually The big quality Okay Berhabuk that is an adjective. Next, we have thick, which is the size. Dia te, tebal. And then we have old, which is the H. Alright? See that? So, dapat yang ni duduk sekali kan untuk perkataan yang sama, untuk benda yang sama, book dua ni. Thick and old. And disusun ni, size dan juga H kat sini. Dia tak pakai quality lah. Dia pakai dua je. Okay? Alright, so I hope you got it all correct. Should be easy. Okay, now, um, two focus get things done. Okay, before we go on, should be pretty simple to understand. Ingat tak kita belajar a and the a bila de, bila perkataan yang datang tu mesti um, bermula dengan consonant, bunyi huruf consonant, and then n kita pakai untuk Perkataan yang bermula, bermula dengan bunyi vowel Okay So, bila kita tambah adjective Macam ayat ni kan Nampak ni Kita tambah adjective kat situ Kalau kamu rasa kamu tak nampak dalam screen ni In this video Please look in your textbook eh, Page 110 It's very important to note that Bila kamu tambahkan adjective di sini Automatic uh, ini, ini ayat asal It is a small Old Hard Okay. Eh, sorry, sorry, sorry Kalau kamu tambahkan adjective yang ada S kat sini Okay Ayat asal dia nak guna right here lah Simple for you, easier for you to see Okay Bila kamu uh, tulis contohnya It is uh, It is a hut 
This is the sentence Ini ayat asalnya Nanti kamu nak tambahkan Old So it is Old hat Tuh, Sepatutnya A old hat Tapi sebab kamu dah tambah Old kat sini Ada O kat sini Kita jadi an old hat Why ada N Sebab old Perkataan old ni O kat sini So sini kena N Sini tak ada So A lah So bila kamu tambah tu Jangan kamu tengok Yang sini pula Faham Tengok yang adjective tu Sebab perkataan ni Datang selepas A dengan N Okay And this is one thing And the second thing is Dekat sini Dia dah cakap dengan kamu Adjective pertaining to Shape and age Are interchangeable example Okay Age dengan shape ni Dia kata kadang-kadang Boleh tukar susunan dia Boleh uh, shape duduk depan Ataupun age duduk di belakang Macam ni lah It is an old small heart Kat sini age dulu Lepas tu baru shape And then kat sini pula It is a small old heart Okay Dia boleh jadi uh, Shape dulu baru age Yang okay. tu tak ada masalah Faham Kamu tak perlu nak ingat pun Benda ni sebenarnya Asalkan kamu ingat satu Cukup dah Faham Sebab Kamu nak buat ayat tu Sama ada you can just You just follow this format Okay You just follow this format Nanti bila kamu dah pergi ke sekolah menengah Kalau ada keperluan untuk kamu nak menghafal benda ni Dekat sekolah menengah Ada ke, ada kemungkinan lah Tapi I don't think so They will focus so much on this It's not a, it's not a big deal lah It's more important for us teachers actually Tapi just for you to To tahu lah pasal benda ni kan Just for you to know it, You can change age dengan shape sometimes Okay But, but it's not a big deal lah Okay Alright Let's um, move on to number uh, page 112. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Page 110, number 1 until 5. Okay, so here what they do is that they give you a sentence and they bagi kamu ini. So, ini ialah kombinasi adjective. Which one is the correct one? Adakah yang contoh nombor satu ni big and round ataupun round and big? Okay, let's try to do that, shall we? Okay, so number 1. It is a... Big and round Ataupun round and big Tak apa Tengok satu-satu Big ni apa Big ni ialah Size Round ni apa Round ni ialah Shape So size dulu barulah Shape So this is the on So I'm just going to highlight like this I'm not going to put it there Okay number two He is artist He is a artist He is a local famous Ataupun he He is a famous local Okay let's Let's see Local ni apa dia Local ni maksudnya tempatan Tempatan ni opinion ke Size ke quality ke age ke shape ke Color ke origin ke material which one is it Local is actually ori Origin okay So dia duduk di belakang sekali nampak tak Okay so famous Famous ni ialah terkenal Terkenal tu opinion pun boleh jadi Quality pun boleh jadi I think it's actually Quality because yang ni bukan Bukan kamu yang rasa dia famous Ini memang satu kenyataan tentang quality orang tersebut So secara tak langsung Famous mesti duduk di depan Sebab kat sini quality is sits in front And material uh, uh, Origin sits at the back So famous local lah. So he is a famous local artist Give me a minute I need to drink water <laughs> Okay let's look at question number 3 Okay, number three. I bought a pair of so something shoes. Black leather. A leather black. Should be very easy for you. Black is color. Leather is. Leather, but leather to. Uh, what is it in Malay? Kulit. Uh, kulit. Bukan kulit manusia. Kulit binatang lah. Kulit buat band bag semua tu. Okay, so leather is actually the material. So color comes first, kan? Color yang first, and then after that, material. Real. So this is the un so black leather. All right, number four. My mother bought a something table, wooden, long, expensive. So it's ni ada tiga, eh? tiga adjectives. Wooden, long, expensive. Which one is it? Wooden, long, expensive, ataupun long, expensive wooden. Kita tahu wooden ni apa? Wooden ni material. Okay, so material sepatutnya duduk kat belakang kan? Ia sebab dia paling dekat kan? So I think it should be this one lah. But let's check the other one. Okay, long. Long is what? Long is the size. Okay, the size it should be in front. Okay, so wooden mesti di belakang, long mesti duduk di depan. Expensive, expensive ni apa? Expensive is what is it? What is it? What is it? I think it's actually the quality. The quality is expensive. Okay, so the answer is long, expensive, wooden. Number five, we ordered two something cakes for the class party. Square chocolate tasty Ada tiga juga sini Square is the Shape 
chocolate is the ha huh, apa dia chocolate <laughs> apa benda chocolate uh, chocolate ni perasa kan perasa mana ada kat sini okay now you look at the thing the thing is actually a cake alright so if it's a cake chocolate ni apa kepada cake tu chocolate ni ialah sifat dia sifat apa sifat apa benda sifat meti dia dia bahan yang membuat kek tersebut sebab tu dia boleh jadi rasa cok coklat faham ok itu satu lah boleh jadi macam tu alright so um, tasty let's look at tasty first so tasty is actually opinion ok sebab betul ke sedap kau je rasa sedap ada orang yang tak suka coklat dia akan rasa tak se So, tasty is actually an opinion of Orang yang sebut ni lah Tasty, so tasty duduk depan Shape duduk di tengah Chocolate ni, okay Dia boleh jadi material Sebab dia perasa kepada kek And dia merupakan bahan yang digunakan untuk membuat Kek, salah satu bahan untuk membuat kek Kalau dia bukan kek Kalau dia benda lain Okay, chocolate ni boleh juga kita gunakan untuk um, You can use it as a color as well Okay, but dia mesti ada sambungan di belakang tu Chocolate color like that Because warna tu bukan coklat Warna dia ialah brown, betul? Tapi ada brown yang dipanggil coklat brown ha, Okay So, kalau lah kamu nak gunakan coklat sebagai color Boleh tapi kena ada sambung ada Kena ada belakang dia coklat brown Coklat brown Okay So, it's actually like this eh? Taste, square and chocolate Alright Let's look at page 112. So page 112 is um, is another story, is another short story. It's not really a short story, like it's just a dialogue actually. Okay, so let's uh, wait. Do we still have time? Let me double check. Yep, it's 47 minutes in. So I think uh, we can finish it. All right, because belum cukup sejam lagi. We can finish it. Don't worry. Okay, once this done, it's over. But so let's pun. Well, let's read this first. Okay. Okay, in a small cottage, there lived a poor miller with his fair. Mali, his daughter was a wonderful baker. Okay, now let's go one by one. Miller, what is a miller? Let's Google what is a miller. Okay. Miller. What is a miller? A person who owns a corn mill. Orang yang mempunyai corn mill. What is a mill? Sorry, sorry. This is a mill. Okay. Mill ni kita gunakan sebenarnya untuk grinding. Untuk mengisar. Mengisar, bukan mengisar lah macam menghancurkan. Menghancurkan apa tadi dia tulis itu apa corn mill. You know, like that. So kat sini ni dia ada miller. So usually... Miller ni apa dia buat Dia akan ambil bahan-bahan macam gandum Ataupun uh, Corn Okay And then dia akan gunakan miller Yang ni mas- bukan dalam bentuk Buah ke ataupun dalam bentuk beras Bukan tau Ini dalam bentuk pop- tanaman tu So dia ambil tanaman tu Dia akan masukkan dalam miller ni And then dia akan grind, 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 grind Hancurkan benda tu Sampailah benda tu akan jadi tepung Okay That's how that's how you use uh, a mill, okay? So masa zaman dulu lah, bukan semua orang ada mill. And mill bukan macam sekarang ada yang kecil and dulu dia besar, okay? So orang yang ada mill ni dia biasanya dia akan ada pun ladang dia sendiri, okay? Ke, uh, bukan kebun, ladang, ladang dia sendiri and dia akan guna kata ladang dia tu dengan mill dia tu untuk menghasilkan tepung, eh, tepung tu boleh orang beli untuk buat uh, roti ataupun Uh, dia ada mill and dia ada bakery ke you know? Who knows Alright Okay Let's continue In a small cottage there live a poor miller with his family Okay poor miller lah Tak adalah kaya sangat His daughter was a wonderful baker So anak perempuan dia ni Seorang Membakar roti Membakar roti Baker lah Very good lah Okay she made the most delicious tarts You know what is tarts Kalau tak tahu Google it Okay apple pies and cookies All fit for a king to eat And one day she was baking an apple pie the king passed through the village okay so she was uh, did the apple pie and the king passed through the vi- 
delicious. So let's see what the king said. Hmm, my smell apple pie. Where's the delicious smell coming from? Take me there. Okay, so the king smelled apple pie, and, and the king says it's a very delicious smell. Where is it coming from? Take me there, please. And then the daughter goes, Oh, please, your majesty, come in, have a slice. So king datang. The woman said, Ah, Tuan Ku, masuk lah, masuk lah. Uh, ambil lah, ambil lah, sekeping, makan lah. So, dia pun makan lah. So, the king makan and this, the king said, Scrumptious, delicious. That's the best pie I've ever tasted. Who made it? So, dia kata, paling sedas apa buat? So, bapak budak ni pun datang. Ni silap ni. <laughs> this is actually a very famous story lah, okay? Uh, Rumpelstiltskin, if I'm not mistaken. So, this is adapted from that story, okay? So, let's see what happens. Our daughter Lisa, dia pun, dia pun menggebang lah dengan boasting, you know, like very proud like that. Our daughter Lisa, she can also weave the most beautiful cloth and spin the finest thread. Banyak kata ni, kan? <laughs> she can also weave the most beautiful cloth. Weaving, okay? Weaving ni, um, dalam bahasa Melayu, ala, um, I do not know what is the word in bahasa Melayu. So I'm going to show you the picture. Yeah, this one. What do we call that? Ah, uh, like this. I do not know what what, what we call it in Basan Melayu. Tenun ke? Is, is it tenun? Uh, I'm not so sure. I think it's tenun. I think so. Uh, yeah, it's tenun. Yeah, it's tenun. I just confirmed it's tenun. Okay. So yeah. So she can weave the most beautiful cloth. They believe a tenun kain. Yang sangat cantik And spin the finest thread Okay, spinning the thread Kalau kamu tahu cerita Sleeping Beauty tu kan So um, Spinning the thread ni Untuk zaman dahulu Spinning the thread is a very important thing Because um, Eh, benda lain ni Okay, uh, dia ancient textile What is this? Let, let, let's see Um Okay, you see this picture? Okay, so this is um the spin thread on this because dulu bila kamu nak dapat benang tu it's not that simple you see because bukan macam sekarang sekarang kita pakai mesin so dulu like, people will do it by hand. So they will use the spinning wheel, okay? Kalau kamu tengok cerita uh, Sleeping Beauty tu kan dia ada yang dia ada macam spindle tu. Eh, benda yang bulat tu dia akan guna benda tu untuk uh, mengumpulkan benang Thread tu is benang eh. So, dia akan mengumpulkan benang And untuk dapat benang tu is not that very simple Because you have to take the material from bulu, kambing lah From that, from this And then you have to like uh, Lilit dia and pusingkan dia sampai dia jadi tebal And uh, Bukan tebal, sampai dia jadi kuat Okay, and then barulah benda tu boleh digunakan untuk buat kain So, for those days, what they will do is that They will try to make the thread to benang tu macam-macam color kan so it's, it's very it's very difficult and the uh, bila kamu gu, bila kamu dapat buat benang tu dengan bagus barulah baju tu akan jadi sangat bah, bagus kalau kamu tak dapat buat benang tu dengan bagus baju tu akan jadi tak bagus lah dia jadi rapuh senang koyak you know like that ini zaman dulu eh bukan zaman sekarang so a girl who can spin the uh, spin a very good thread and also can make beautiful cloth can weave She's very good lah maksudnya Kalau she can do lah lah So the father ni dia me, Dengan sombongnya Dengan angkuhnya dia pun cakap besar lah kat situ kan Kata, Sampaikan dia cakap apa In fact she can spin straw into gold What is straw? Straw ni yang daun kering kau bagi kuda makan tu Jangan ingat Straw yang ni Ah ni 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 This straw Agriculture by product consisting of dry stocks Okay This straw This you want to make into thread is impossible <laughs> okay it is not it's not a good thing lah but what the father says she can spin straw into gold boleh buat straw to the spin sampai jadi emas alright um it, it's impossible okay alright kalau tak percaya let's search it off is it possible to spin straw into gold Okay. Has nothing. This is it. Now this is sorry. Um, this is actually from the story of Rumpelstiltskin. Okay. Let's go to. Uh, you don't have it. They don't know. 
go see what let's go see what, what what this is oh no this is not the page that we're supposed to go and see um wikipedia let's go to wikipedia wikipedia has it I think you can you can search it up and try to find this story. It's actually a very interesting story, but um, it's not like the one in the textbook, lah. It's a bit it's a bit different. Okay, okay, never mind. I'm just gonna leave it like that. But it's impossible. Okay, all right. Let's search here why you cannot spin straw. Why? You cannot spin straw into gold. Let's see what it says. It doesn't say anything. Wow. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Let's forget about that. Okay. Alright, um, so you cannot do that eh? because a straw is a straw. You cannot spin a straw into gold. Okay, it's not something that. Yelah, kau ambil daun kering and then kau nak pusingkan jadi benang and bukan saja jadi benang nak pusingkan dia sampai jadi jadi emas. Think about it. Is it logic? No, it's not logic. Okay, it's it's ridiculous. Alright, so when the father say something like that, something that is impossible like that, do you think is actually bijak? Of course, it's not bijak. Okay. But the king, the king said, "What wonderful! Oh, yeah, ke bagus ha? I'll take her to my castle. My kingdom is not very rich. <laughs> Kerajaan aku tak kaya sangat. I could do with more gold. So kalau dapat banyak emas bagus ha? I can turn straw into gold. You will be rewarded, Lisa. If you can't, you will be punished. Nah, make kau. Dia kata, uh, you will be rewarded. Kamu akan di uh, bagi balasan baik lah. Tapi kalau kau tak dapat buat straw jadi gold, kau akan dihukum." Apa dia budak tu buat? Kata, oh, no, what am I going to do now? See, tak pasal apa-apa sebab bapak dia, dia jadi mang. So, okay. That's the story. Okay, now. Let's go into the question. Alright, number one. Why do you think Lisa's father said she could weave straw into gold? Kenapa kau rasa dia cakap macam tu? Why did the father say like that? Because the father... Pada the father Apa guna father dia buat macam tu Okay Ad, Ada sebab ke Kenapa bapa dia nak kena cakap macam tu Okay there is no reason The father, the only reason why the father would say something like that Is because the father was um, Dia nak The word is boast you know Dia boasting lah kalau kamu tak tahu The word is boast Okay boasting Excessively proud and self-satisfied talk about one's achievement Nampak all abilities so nama dia boasting ataupun boast ok cakap besar lah ok um, so why do you think this is father said she could be straw so kamu boleh cakap he said that because he wants he wanted sorry past tense ke is this past tense the question is not in past tense kan why is said said is in past tense she could be straw in the world ok so he said that because he wanted to Boast about his daughter. Okay, dia cakap jadi sebab dia nak uh, hebahkan, cakap besar pasal dia punya anak-anak perempuan dia. Okay, he said that because he wanted to boast about his daughter. Alright. Number two, do you think Lisa will succeed? Kamu rasa Lisa akan berjaya ke tidak? No. Okay. No, Lisa. Lisa will not suck seed okay because it is impossible it is impossible to turn straw into gold what is your opinion of the king apa pendapat kamu tentang king okay bila kamu nak bagi pendapat tolong bagi pendapat yang berkaitan dengan cerita okay kalau kamu tengok King tu nak gold kan So kita boleh cakap Dia ni tamak lah He's a very greedy person Tapi dengan dia suruh budak ni Buat macam tu Adakah dia bijak? Dia tak bijak Tapi janganlah aku bagi tulis stupid Okay tak, tak, Janganlah tulis stupid So kamu boleh tulis Dia tidak bijak He is not right Okay So What is your opinion? So my 
opinion Susahkan nak buat ayat My opinion Okay Terus sebut pun boleh juga Okay The king I think Sorry sorry I think I think The king Is Not So Bright Tak cerdik sangat And greedy Dan tak Tamak Sebab dia nak emas Okay Kalau dia tanya why Dan kamu kena cakap lah Because Uh, he wants Siapa? Dah mau dah mau dah. He wants the Miller's daughter. He wants Lisa, sorry. He wants Lisa to turn straw into gold. Right. Okay. Is it possible to spin straw into gold? Is it? No. No, it is not for Sible because We cannot change straw into something else like gold. I do not know what is the answer to this. I think this is the best answer because it's this sebenarnya kau boleh fikir logik sebenarnya dengan jawapan ni. And uh, I don't think there are any other answers for that. Um, just like that lah actually. There are no, you cannot change straw into anything else because straw is a straw gold is gold okay can I say a straw suddenly change straw into gold there is no scientific way to do that it is not possible because we can't change straw into something else like gold okay or you can also say I'm gonna write here write down here lah eh? uh, no It is not possible because straw and straw and gold, sorry, straw and gold are two different things. You can also say something like that. They do a bendy and sangat berbeh. So you cannot say Yang dia ada Dia Kita boleh jadikan Gold daripada straw Because Dia dua benda yang sangat berbeza Tak logik kan So you cannot say Something like that lah. Okay Alright I think that's it Okay All done For your homework This time And um, Kalau ikutkan We already finish Up until Unit 12 So I will give you more work on that And kita ada Dalam buku teks ni Kita ada 12 unit je sebenarnya So I'm going to give you A different work And uh, I'm not I'm not going to I'm not going to tell you right now Later I will tell you And then uh, let's see lah I'll, I'll try to make it a bit interesting for you Okay Maybe um, Something online or whatsoever Okay And uh, for those of you yang Nanti I will give you a few options Bagi kamu pilihan nak jawab macam mana Senang sikit untuk kamu Supaya tak susah sangat nak buat Kerja tu nanti Okay. Uh, please watch all the videos Okay Alright Because there are certain things That I explain in the video That you need to hear me explain Okay And um, Siapa yang masih lagi belum buat Dan hantar kerja Kelantan Untuk paper trial Kelantan Tahun 2019 Tolonglah buat eh. Okay Walaupun UPS akan mudah dibatalkan But by doing so You actually Um You you still learning, okay? You still learning, and uh, it's very important for you to actually do that, okay? All right, I think that's it for today. Uh, we will uh, continue with the next session later on, when I give you the other work, the next work. Sorry. All right, that's all for today. Anything you PM me, let me know. If you have any questions or whatsoever, okay. Send regards to your family. Take care. Stay at home. Assalamualaikum.